right, hello everyone. This is chapter eight of the God's Gift Eucharist book by Loyola Press. And we are gonna go through it together because we are at the end of our journey. Some of you have probably already gone through this. We're just gonna briefly go through it and talk a little bit about some of the things we need to remember before we go to our rehearsal and then have celebrate our First Eucharist. Yay, we're finally there. So let's look at page 71 and we'll begin with a prayer as we always do, right? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus, faithful friend, help me to walk with you so that I can spread your word to others and live in your love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Part of the fun of going away is getting ready. Imagine that you are going on a vacation or to camp. You'll be away for a while. So what are the things that you need to be make sure are in your suitcase? Hmm. Now you can go ahead and fill those out or you can just discuss them there at home with your family member or loved ones. But what are some things that you'd wanna take? I know if I was going camping, I would want my favorite pillow and sleeping bag and bug spray. <laughs> Some of you have probably been camping already this summer. So feel free to fill that out and think about what you need when you're gonna go on a journey. We're gonna hear about a little journey from our disciples. So let's listen to this story. The Man on the Road. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two of Jesus' followers were on a journey. They were leaving Jerusalem, and Jesus, their friend, had died on the cross there. Along the way, the two friends met a man on the road. He asked them why they were so sad. They told him their friend Jesus had died, and some women had said that Jesus had risen from the dead, but they were not sure what to believe. The man began to walk with the two friends. He reminded them that the scriptures said that God would send a savior who would suffer, die, and then enter heaven. Does that man look familiar? Yeah. As evening came, the three travelers arrived at a village. Two of the friends invited the man to stay and have dinner with them. At dinner, the man took the bread, he blessed the bread and then broke it and gave it to them. It was at that moment the friends knew that this man was the risen Jesus. And then Jesus disappeared. The friends went happily back to Jerusalem and they told everyone that was there that they had seen the risen Jesus. And if you wanna look that up in your Bibles, that's in the Gospel of Luke in the New Testament chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. Now, of course, we have some stickers that you can fill in if you haven't done so already. But what are we learning about our journey with Jesus? Hmm, let's see. Our journey, we are like Jesus's friends on their journey from Jerusalem. They welcome Jesus they knew him in the breaking of the bread. Then they went back to Jerusalem. They wanted to tell everyone that Jesus is still with us. We too are on a journey, our journey of faith. We recognize Jesus in the Eucharist. We welcome Jesus into our hearts. We welcome him in the people we meet and we share his love with others. We want everyone to know about Jesus and all that he does for us. Now at the end of Mass, we have what's called the final blessing. So after you've received Holy Communion, we take the time and we sit or we kneel quietly. And it's at this time that we thank Jesus. So 
So we're really in a special way in God's presence in that moment because you've already received Jesus and Jesus is there in your heart and you take that time quietly to really talk to Jesus in a very, very special way. After some time, the priest will stand up and he will give us the final blessing. Oh, here comes Jasmine. Oh, she is something. She can't help herself, this poor little thing. She photobombs us all the time, doesn't she? So the priest stands up and gives us the final blessing, and we stand up too. Excuse me, ma'am. Sometimes the priest or the deacon tells us to bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. He asks God for a number of special graces for us. Grace is the gift of God given to us without us even earning it. Then we bless ourselves as the priest says, May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And we answer, Amen. Okay? So we receive grace. That's why we go to Holy Communion, so that we can receive the grace to be able to continue on and keep making good decisions and keep trying to do good. And we go to Mass as often as we can or we watch it on TV so that we continue to remember how much God loves us, that God wants to be with us, and God wants to give us the grace to continue to be good people. Okay? So then after that, the priest or deacon will tell us, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. And we answer, thanks be to God. So our celebration of the Mass has ended. We have prayed with our parish family, and now we leave church and go about our daily lives. Our mission is to live what we celebrated. We have been sent to glorify the Lord by loving and serving God and others. We will continue as often as we can to receive Holy Communion. We will continue to praise God by living holy lives. Okay, so that's the whole journey. And we continue to go and receive that sacrament to remember that. So here's a special little fill in the uh, coloring there. You color all the spaces that have an X and we know what that word is saying already, I bet. Yeah. You got it. So if you color in those X's, and then you can finish coloring the rest of it, find out your hidden message. And what is that message? Jesus tells us that God has great love for us. You got it. You got it. That's what it's all about. So feel free to color that in if you haven't already. And if you have, that's okay the message that's the most important part there right all right so together even with my lovely cat here to assist us we're going to pray this little prayer let's look at that little tag there sent to share receiving jesus christ in holy communion is a wonderful gift it's a gift that's meant to be shared jesus gives himself to us so that we can share his love with others that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to remember. Okay. All right. So we begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, again, I'll read the prayer leader part, and you guys will all read everything that says response. Oops. And it's in the purple and blue here. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Just like the two friends who met Jesus on the road, we meet Jesus, we talk with him, and open our hearts to him. Soon you will share in the holy meal of the sacrament of the Eucharist. Let us open our hearts to Jesus, who sends us to love and serve others. Lord Jesus, you bless me with your presence in my life together. Send me with your joy to glorify the Lord. Lord Jesus, you bless me with your word in the Gospels. Send me with your peace to glorify the Lord. Lord Jesus, you bless me with the desire to receive you in Holy Communion. Send me with your love 
to glorify the Lord. Lord Jesus, you bless me with the gift of being your friend. Send me with your grace to glorify the Lord. God, our Father, you love us. Keep us always in your care. Amen. Jesus, you are our friend and brother. Fill our hearts with unending love. Amen. Holy Spirit, you strengthen us. Help us to live a life of love and service. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we ask for God's blessing for ourselves and for others. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Well, let's reflect on what we've learned. And in this section called Living My Faith. So we remember today that the friends of Jesus knew him in the breaking of the bread. And we will meet Jesus in Holy Communion. So we are very similar to them in that in that regard, right? We're, we're knowing that Jesus is in the breaking of the bread and that we are being sent to bring Jesus' love to others. Always, always, always. So what did we learn? How do we live what we learn? Well, I love Jesus. I follow Jesus. I will receive Jesus Christ in Holy Communion. And I will bring his peace and love to others. I think we can do that, don't you? All right. And of course, we are going to find this special word in the glossary. And I don't know if, um, other than mercy, I think this is my second favorite description in the whole glossary. Boop, 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 boop. It would help if I got us on the right page here. Hold on just a second. There we go. <laughs> All right, grace. Grace is a gift of God given to us without our earning it. God just freely gives it, right? Grace fills us with God's life and keeps us close to him. Always. We don't have to beg for it. We don't have to, um, you know, do, say a certain amount of prayers to get it. God just freely gives grace. But we can work with God with that grace. And that's how we want to continue to invite that grace into our lives by, by always uh, seeking to share God's love with the world, okay? And to acknowledge it and to see it. So that's our journey, boys and girls. And you will very soon be making your first communion. Now the next section of the book, of chapter eight, we are gonna go over all of that in your rehearsal. But if you want to go ahead and look through that, that goes through the Mass. Most of you um, have probably watched Mass on TV and can follow along. If you have not, then please continue to do that until you make your First Communion. Um, look at the way we celebrate the Mass. All right? Each section and what it does and what it... You won't have to memorize what they're called, but you'll just need to know the order like you're going to know that we're making the sign of the cross what are we doing there when we're asking God to forgive us for our mistakes asking God to have mercy on us right listening to the liturgy of the word oh the Gloria first sorry praising God listening to the word of God and then our profession of faith Okay, we will continue to say this in Mass, so you will eventually have that memorized. Just follow along the best you can at Mass until you do have it memorized. Um, it is something that we will not have books currently because we currently don't have any papers in Mass because of the virus. So just keep looking at this and do your best. I'm sure that those of you that have been at Mass enough before or have watched it enough before, you'll probably know this already. But don't worry if you don't have it memorized. We're just going to keep remembering to look at this because this contains everything we believe as Catholics, right? This is what we're saying. Yep, I believe this. 
that's who I am and that's what my faith says. So that becomes very important to us, but I'm not worried about you memorizing it word for word just yet. But keep it in mind, okay? And then we have the Liturgy of the Eucharist. And we've already been through all of this, right, to know what's happening there. And that the priest blesses common bread, but turns it into, with the Holy Spirit coming down to transform it into the body and blood of Christ. And then we have the Eucharistic prayer. And then the communion rite, the sign of peace. Okay, and then receiving your first Holy Communion. These are all things that we are going to go through together uh, when we are at your rehearsal. Okay, so you don't need to worry about all of that. But it is good to read through it, be familiar with it, know these prayers. Um, and then, of course, this activity here with all of your stickers. If you have not done so, please go ahead and fill that out the best of your knowledge and the best that you can do okay I know we're not all together for that but that's okay I'm gonna guess your mom and dad or grandparent um, or guardian whoever's with you will be able to help you with that okay so that's it that's the whole book and like I said you know you you will be making your first communion we will review a lot of this stuff again at rehearsal but just make sure that you have it fresh in your mind, that you know what it is you're receiving that day, okay? And we'll talk more at rehearsal. So take care, everyone. I will see you soon. God bless you. You have been through an incredible journey this year with this, this book. So um, I just want you to know that I'm praying for you and that it will... It will be a great day. It will be a great celebration because no matter how it looks, no matter when we're doing it, God being with you in Holy Communion is the greatest gift that you could ever receive. I promise. Take care, everyone. God bless.